Hello, uh, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, MassMailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, uh, how to import uh, suppressed emails into MassMailer from other ESPs. Uh, to start with, um, let's understand what is the business need for you to import, right? Uh, let's say you've been using um, uh, other ESP, meaning the email service provider, such as MailChimp or Out or Constant Contact or any other service provider right now. Um, and then, um, you know, uh, in the past years or months that you've been using the other system, uh, the other ESP must have collected a lot of submissions. Uh, again, what submission meaning? I know uh, when you send out an email, somebody unsubscribes or uh, there's a hard bound or somebody flagged your email as a spam report. Uh, whatever the reason may be, maybe the emails are invalid. Uh, you validated this uh, in some other system um, and you have certain invalids, whatnot. Uh, so now you're moving to um, mass mailer, or you're migrating to mass mailer. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, you uh, it's very important that you actually bring in those operations into mass mailer so that you're in compliance. Um, Otherwise, uh, you'll get into trouble if you're resending the emails to those people who aren't subscribed, uh, then you may get uh, flagged as a spammer, right? Uh, so it's very important to make sure that your domain and IP reputation is, uh, uh, you know, it's intact. Uh, so you don't send emails again to those people who did not want to receive the emails from you, right? Uh, so basically, in order to secure your uh, domain and IP reputation, and also you don't want to consume uh, more emails or more email credits, when you know that certain um, uh, emails are gonna uh, bounce, right? Uh, so whatever the reason may be, so you wanna basically suppress some of the emails that you may have in your system, um, or you may want to um, you know, uh, prevent them in the future, even if they don't uh, uh, reside in your system as uh, records, uh, but you still want to make sure that you uh, suppress them. Uh, so this is the reason why you would do it. And, uh, how do you do it? So it's uh, quite easy. You just have to make sure that you have all the submission emails uh, in the format of CSV uh, because we're going to do a bulk import, uh, right? So if you can take an export of all the submission emails from the other system, uh, do that. Or if you needed to talk to the other vendor, whatever uh, you could do, make sure that you get all the emails um, and the uh, relevant information. So. Sometimes you may get more information than needed, uh, but the bare minimum is what I'm talking about right now is definitely you need to know what the email address is and what kind of a suppression type it is. Let's say uh, you're um, you know, uh, having some unsubscribes or bounces, spam reports, um, then you would certainly want to uh, have that uh, column uh, that shows the respective uh, suppression type value. Uh, or it could be manual, meaning, uh, you uh, just want to suppress the emails and it is whatever the reason could be, right? And you want to maintain that and it's a global suppression list. That's why you're going to import it, right? If it's a one time, uh, then you don't have to import it to this uh, suppression list uh, record. Um, there's another way to uh, tackle that. I've spoken about it uh, in a different webinar topic. Um, so that's basically the suppression type is what you need. Email is what you need. And then finally, you also, should, uh, you also would want to have reason column. Um, the reason being, uh, the reason column will give you enough information why a, a particular email uh, is in the suppression list, right? Um, most of the times you should have this reason uh, uh, value from the other ESPs. Uh, if you don't have it uh, for any reason, uh, that's okay, it's not mandatory, but it is recommended to have that uh, value. And uh, once you have that uh, list uh, in the form of uh, CSV, you just have to go to the suppressions, mass miller suppressions tab, and then click on the import uh, button um, that uh, is on the summary page, and then import the file that you have exported. Uh, so then, um, uh, you know, just follow the instructions and then you should be able to import it. And then uh, going forward, those emails would get suppressed, right? So now let's take a look at um, a quick uh, demo of the same. 
I have a sample suppression file that I created here. So I'm just calling this sample suppression. It has three columns, the reason column, uh, as you can see, user unknown, and then the email column, and then the bounce, uh, the suppression type is bounce. Uh, again, you can have more columns here, the suppression type. Um, and if you wanted to just call it whatever you wanted, um, you know, you can do that, but um, at least uh, follow, um, you know, the guided uh, uh, values by mass mailer. Uh, so just to kind of uh, uh, give you a sense of uh, uh, other values that you can have, uh, perhaps I could uh, uh, write it down here. Uh, other values could be something like valid, right? Maybe the email is invalid, or it could be uh, spam trap. Um, or it could be uh, do not email. You know, some of these examples like that, right? So you could have um, uh, those values as well. Uh, you know, these kind of uh, values may come from email verifier software if you're using an email verifier software. Uh, so uh, again, this is just to kind of uh, educate you on uh, how you can add um, or how you can actually import files, but um, it, it, it is flexible and the system is flexible enough that uh, you could have whatever suppression type value that you want to create. Um, but these are some recommended um, uh, values that we are uh, showing to you right now. Okay. Now, so if you go to uh, Mass Miller app and then go to the Mass Miller suppressions tab, uh, you would find an import um, button right there. Uh, so what are we importing? We are importing a CSV file. Um, so let's just go here. Uh, this is a file that I was uploading. This is uh, in this is in Google Sheet, and uh, I would just export or download this as uh, a CSV file, uh, comma separated value, right? And I have this CSV file right there. And now I'm just going to go click on this import button, and that takes me to the uh, data import wizard. Uh, so I would just go. Uh, select this object, which is uh, mass mail suppressions, and then you want to add new records. If you already have existing ones, and if you want to update, you can you can do update. But I'm just showing you um, the, uh, the 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 way to create new records. Um, and here, uh, very simple. You just have to drag and drop the CFC file that you already prepared, and then go to the next step. It automatically uh, mapped all the columns, as you can see because I've kept the same um, uh, header, uh, the CSV column header uh, um, that is matching with the object uh, field name. Um, so the reason is mapped to reason, email is mapped to email, and the submission type is mapped to submission. So that's all good. Um, and then uh, you go to the next step. And then you just have to just uh, click on this button, start import and click okay. And that would start um, importing the list. So it would process in a moment. So if you just go back to the mass mail lightning um, app and then you go to the mass mail suppression tab from here, let's go there, mass mail suppression tab. Let's just go click all. And then it did uh, add those values right there. Uh, so there are two of them. Uh, the two of the records that you can see, uh, those are added for you. And that's it. And now going forward, uh, these records would be uh, suppressed uh, that uh, you cannot send emails to them because those records are all, I mean, those email addresses are already in the suppressions uh, list. So that's, uh, that's about it. Any questions? Uh, So if you don't have any questions, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, so you can uh, send an email to me anytime if you have any questions, uh, or you can um, drop in a note from our website as well. You can send an email to the company account. Uh, once again, there's a weekly webinar uh, that runs uh, every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. 
Uh, feel free to join uh, the webinar again next uh, week. Uh, that will be published to our website and also our social channels. And uh, if you are uh, new to mass mailer, uh, feel free to uh, give a try. Um, you know, we have a 15 day free trial. Uh, just go to our website um, and then there would be a free trial button. I just go to massmeter.io slash install and then uh, install your free trial. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. I hope uh, you have a, a great day, great evening, great night.